Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. If you watched my last video, which was a makeup, declutter, organization, and empties, I'm wearing the same outfit because I've been sitting here editing that video this entire day. I meant to start this vlog a lot earlier, but it is almost five o'clock and I'm just starting it now. I'm also on my second coffee today because it's International Coffee Day. I don't know, Cody was so sweet this morning. He brought me a coffee in bed and I was so happy about that, but I needed a little pick-me-up to get through my editing. And then once I had that checked off my list, I then worked on a presentation that I'm doing with CoverGirl, Sally Hansen, and London Drugs next week. And I'm very excited, I'm nervous. I'm gonna be talking in front of like 100, 150 people about their new product launches in person, on a stage with like a mic and stuff, which is, crazy. Um, normally when I'm on stage I'm dancing. I don't know where I really have to talk so <laughs> this will be a really fun and great experience for me. I'm very excited but I do have like a slideshow presentation that I'm working off of and then I have to make a script so I kind of worked on that a bit. I've been meaning to vlog because I got a package in from Abercrombie. If you follow me on Instagram you would have seen in my stories. They sent me products. They sent me clothes which is so so crazy and I'm so grateful. I love Abercrombie stuff. I feel like 60% of my wardrobe at this point is from them. Love their jeans, all their stuff and they sent me a bunch of fall items and I'm so excited. I've been wearing a few of them here and there but I did want to do like a little proper try on haul to show you guys what I got and I'm so excited about it. This video is not sponsored by Abercrombie. They just kindly sent me these items and I wanted to share them with you. So let's start off with this dress that you saw on my TikTok and my Instagram this past week because I wore this to VIF, which is the Vancouver International Film Festival opening night. And this dress is amazing. It's so comfy and it's a midi length. It doesn't have a slit, but it's all black all the way down. And then it has this cowl neck, cowl back. Cowl neck is like when it's up here, but cowl back when it's in the back. And then it has this little strap. This is so comfy. I didn't feel like I needed a bra. I felt supported. I felt like it hugged me in all the right places. I got mine in a size medium. And I do believe they have a couple other colors. And wow, I love this dress. I think this is gonna be a great piece to have for the fall, the winter with some like boots for going out at night with a leather jacket, how I wore it at the event. I just, I love this and it's going to be a staple dress and I'm so happy I have it. You guys know I'm constantly in activewear and so this is from their YPB, which means your personal best. And this is a curve love top in a size large. I do find this to be a little bit oversized on me and it does have the padding. So you could size down in this. I would normally be a medium in tops, but sometimes I'm a large, it's hard in workout tops, but this is a cute little crop for working out. I love the button details. I wore it to rumble this past week and it was so, so cute. I wanted to be a little bit more supported. So I did wear a sports bra underneath, but this is a really cute top and I love their activewear. It is amazing quality. I have another top from them and shorts and pants and they just, all, everything has been so incredible. So highly recommend their activewear, but this top is super cute. The crew neck I'm going to be living in all fall and winter is this one. So, so soft. I love all of the sweatshirts that I have from Abercrombie. They are just like the most deliciously cozy things on the planet. This is in the size large and I love it. I also didn't know when I got it that it had this like slit detail, which is amazing. So it makes it even more comfortable and look really good with leggings, and, like boots and stuff. And I just, I love the Def Leppard print, super cute. Love a good little graphic crew neck. It is just so me and I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. This one was kind of different for me, but I saw this and I thought it would be so cute for this fall. Also kind of reminded me of pumpkin with the, like the two-tone, I don't know. It's this little like preppy knit sweater that has a collar, which is really cute sleeves like this. I just thought this would be cute tucked into the jeans but kind of like leaves a little bit open here. I don't know I'm gonna have to play around with this but I really like it. It's very very soft and cozy. It's not quite cold enough here yet to wear this. I mean it's like 25 degrees out today which is absurd for October but yeah when it does get a little bit more brisk this is going to be super cute. As we are now transitioning into the fall, I am really attracted to brown items and button downs are one of my favorite things. And I got this satin one. I do believe they have other colors, but I got this one in a medium and it is a bit like oversized, but this is going to be so cute for going out. I kind of pictured it with jeans, but then a bodysuit underneath. Of course you can wear it buttoned up, but also I like to wear these unbuttoned and it kind of gives like a nice little cardigan vibe but not if that makes sense i love them love the satin color it's very like classy can be dressed up dressed down and yeah the color is so rich and it's just so luxe 
And last but not least, it would not be an Abercrombie haul without a pair of jeans. So these are the loose high rise from the Curve Love section. I'm a 29 in their jeans and these are so cute. I am just getting used to wide leg jeans and I thought that these would be really fun. I also have a pair of sneakers coming that I think would be really cute with these. So I kind of picture that all together, but love the wash of these. They're super, super comfy. I I'm a huge fan of Abercrombie jeans as most people are and the length is really good They feel like snug and like tight around the waist area where I want them to but then like loose in the thighs and below Which is again what I want in a jean So I'm very excited to have these and to style them and to play around with them for the fall I feel like they're just like a really nice basic staple denim that a lot of people will be rocking this fall winter But yeah, I love these. They're very very comfy that is everything from Abercrombie. I am just so over the moon that they even sent me stuff. It is such a treat and such a dream to have your literal favorite clothing brand send you items. I just feel really lucky and thank you guys to you for watching my content because things like this would not happen without you. And this one was like just a really, really cool one. So very excited about that. I'm gonna wear the pieces all the time. So like prepare to be sick of me and be sick of these items because it is what it is. I feel like I should be saying good morning because I just woke up from a little bit of a nap, a little bit of a rest. We did the work and then I was like, you know what? It's Saturday. I'm tired. We're going out tonight. So I need to have sleep. So I did that and I didn't finish my coffee from earlier. So I'm still drinking that and it's around six, seven. No, it's almost seven and we need to eat dinner. So I'm going to make us some super easy tacos. We're going to do ground beef, peppers, onions. I have avocado. We have those coconut tortillas. And we also have corn on the cob. That is our first corn on the cob of the season. We have two cobs left. We did them in the air fryer last time and they were so, so good. So we'll do that again. Just like a lot of veg. So that seems like the good thing to do right now. Here's dinner. It doesn't look too pretty, but there's cheese, cilantro, avocado, ground beef, peppers, and onions on the coconut flour tortillas. And then I'm also going to chug a liquid IV because like I said, going out tonight, and this is gonna help a lot. <laughs> This is like my first time getting ready when the sun has gone down. It feels like fall. <laughs> like going and getting ready while it's dark to go out later at night. If that makes any sense. Anyway, Code's doing the dishes. Uh, we just had dinner, as you guys saw, and tonight is Brittany's 30th birthday party. We are going downtown to Greta, which is an arcade bar. They're taking like a party bus from uh, where Britt lives out this way. Yeah, I'm gonna meet them at the bar. Code's going to a Vic movie and then gonna meet us at the bar. And it's Y2K themed and I have struggled so much with coming out with an outfit for this because Y2K fashion is just not my jam. I hate showing my midriff and that's all they did basically. So I have settled on this tank top from Aritzia and I also have on these Sarah's Day white fox little jogger pant things. They're nice and lightweight, which is nice because it's like still hot out, but not. And then I have this little chain that I used in a dance show. It's from Revolve, I think, actually. Um, so yeah, also, obviously, I already have done my makeup for today. So I think I'm going to just kind of add some Y2K inspired things to it. I want to do like a glitter kind of white eyeshadow, touch up my foundation because she looking shiny. I also hate doing my makeup with a mirror like this. It just like shows everything a little too well, you know? I think for her eyes, I'm gonna do this magnetic moon, maybe a little bit of dreamful, but I think like the silver and white is definitely the goal. Now, because I'm going on top of what I've already done, I'm gonna take a nice flat shader brush and I am going to use Fix Plus <coughs> to dampen my brush. Pack it on top. We'll probably have to go over the eyeliner, but let's see how this goes. Oh my gosh. This is the inner corner a bit. Okay, sweet. That's like exactly what I was hoping for. Oh my god, this is so funny. It's even more pigmented when you don't have it wet. Feeling a little scary at the moment, but this eyeshadow looks good. I feel like I'm channeling a little bit more 90s, but it is what it is. I'm gonna move on to hair. I've also used like world's lightest lip liner on myself. This is the NYX Pinky Beige. It looks basically like concealer. I'm gonna put on like a gloss after this. I wanted to go a little bit darker and smokier obviously because we're going to a dark club and I think I'm going to figure out this hair now. I think I need to recurl these uh, front pieces so I'll turn my curling iron on. Also do I opened a beverage. This is the nude pink lemonade. They're very good. 
because when I arrive at the bar, everyone will have already been drinking, so I need to have a few before I go. I'm gonna take some dry texture spray and kind of spray the back of these to make them a little bit more fluffy. Code and I are currently watching Blonde on Netflix, so earlier today I added a beauty mark and I feel like it goes with this look as well. Here is the finished look. We have the most dramatic Bratz inspired eyes. And then for lips, I just did that lip liner, kind of outlined it with a bit more of a brown lip liner and then went in with a pink sparkly gloss. My lips feel very juicy and I feel like this is good. I need to stop fine tuning things. My hair, this is what it's gonna be. Fun! <laughs> Basically just had a little dance party jam sesh by myself, had my drink, called my Uber, and we're gonna head out to the bar. Obviously not gonna bring the vlog camera, but I will catch up with you guys at a later time. Good morning, friends. It is now Sunday. I am definitely hungover, not too bad, but you know, just a little bit slow moving this morning. I do have a nail appointment in about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna walk over and do that. This set has lasted me probably just under three weeks, and I really have been enjoying the Gel X. I did pop a nail off when I was popping off at the club yesterday, so we have one casualty, but that's good timing. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna have to have these nails on for like three weeks, which also includes my birthday weekend, so I need to think of something fun, quick, <laughs> or pick a fun color. I have really enjoyed this color because it's like a nice neutral, but like not super stark white. So who knows? I definitely want to get them a bit shorter because they are just so long, but I have been enjoying the length, so I'll probably keep them a little bit longer than my typical nails, but yes, that is the first thing we're doing this morning. Alrighty, here is the before and after. These are the nails. We did that like magnetic effect, so it kind of looks like velvet. They look so, so sparkly in the light, which I'll show you in a sec, but they are so pretty. They're still simple and like natural, or like neutral, I should say, but you know, have a fun sparkly twist. Good morning, friends. This is basically turning into like a week in my life vlog, so hopefully that's cool. But today is Wednesday morning. I'm about to get dressed and head to dance because we are prepping for a little thing next week. And then I'm coming home, going to get all glam, do my makeup, touch up my hair, and then I'm going to the JW Marriott to do the London Drugs Beauty Conference, which I'm so excited for. I am getting a little bit nervous. I slept with like my script beside me. I tried on some outfits last night to see what I wanted to wear. I haven't like done any public speaking like this in a very, very, very long time. I think the last time was like a beauty convention in Dallas like years and years ago. I'm not really sure what to expect, but they have an Uber coming for me this afternoon and then I'll head over there and do that. And then I have dance later tonight. So got to be in a lot of different places today, but first things first, I'm going to get dressed for dance. I will definitely be throwing a t-shirt over this, but I'm just wearing some TNA bike shorts and then this bra top sports bra is from, I guess it's more of a bralette. This is from White Fox and I did put on a fresh tan last night. I used the Coco and Eve dark or ultra dark rather. And then I just quickly curled my hair so that I don't have to do the full thing later. I'm trying to save myself time where I can. I think I'm going to make myself a little breakfast to take on the go. I've been loving egg bites lately and I also have some muffins that I made a couple days ago. So that's going to be breakfast, but yes. This is the fit. These are the egg bites that I have been buying. They're just from Western Family, so we buy them at Save on Foods. The red pepper and spinach ones are good. I've also tried the other ones. They're just egg bites, but they're delicious. And here are the muffins I made a couple days ago. Super simple recipe that I got on Pinterest. They're just a gluten-free blueberry. Um, and yeah, they're really good. Done dance now, gonna head home, shower, put on my makeup, touch up my hair, run over my script. I am starting to get a little bit nervous though, but that's okay, that's normal. Anyway, so sweaty, gonna go. We are all dressed and ready, makeup and hair is done. I just went with kind of a really simple little eye look, did a half lash, I put my hair extension in, and then I'll quickly show you my outfit. I should probably add a necklace, which I will do, but this bodysuit is from Maritzia, and then these pants are just from Zara. I've actually never worn either of them out of the house. I've worn the bodysuit before, but I haven't worn the pants, and I knew having a professional pant like this would come in handy. And now's the time. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these like little black heels from Oakenfort. And I don't think I'm going to need a jacket because it's still quite warm out. So yeah, that's the fit. I did my full presentation to the cats a few minutes ago. And now I'm just waiting on the Uber. Should be here in about 10 minutes. And then we're going to go. drink 
some water. All right, friends, we are back from the JW Marriott. Please do not mind my laundry in the back or my hair over here. I have some emails to get to before I head out and leave for the evening. I'm already in my leggings and dancewear. Those pants are cute, but they're not as comfortable as these leggings. So that went really well. I was definitely a little bit nervous. I don't do a whole lot of public speaking in front of people. Normally when I'm in front of that many people, I'm dancing, so it's odd to talk. But it went really well and it flew by. They were so lovely. The whole Cody team, Cover Girl, Stanley Henson, all of their team members, so fun. And then all of the LD beauty reps and things that were watching were so nice and I think they enjoyed it. So yeah, hopefully everything went well on their end it went well on mine and the team actually sent me home with a ton of product as you guys saw in my uber on the way home they gave me a full box because at these like conferences they ship all of their product to show and to give away and to like talk about and then they either have to ship it back or give it out to like people so they let me take home a box and i told them that i have a network of like a lot of women and girls that dance so i think i got about 50 mascaras which is exciting because I have a lot of events and things for my other job that we can use those as giveaway prizes. And of course I can give them to friends and family. And I also know about the local women's shelter and all that stuff. So lots of places I can give that out and a lot easier than, than just shipping back the product. So that was kind of fun. And they sent me home with like some vases and stuff and CoverGirl moisturizer and yeah, just some really cute stuff. So appreciate that. I am, however, starving and have a little bit of a headache. I think I need caffeine, but we did just order food because Cody's busy working. I have emails and then I have to go, so we kind of needed something quick. So we just ordered Thai food, so hopefully that comes soon. But yeah, overall, busy day, but I'm like exhausted and I still have like two other things to do today. But it's days like today that I feel so grateful for my job because like I got to wake up this morning, got some exciting emails, and then I got to go dance and that's like for a thing. And then I got to go do this conference thing for my other job. It's just like, I do so many different things and I feel so aligned with all of them that I'm just like feeling very grateful for this season of my life. And I just, yeah, life's cool. We're doing cool things, I don't know. Anyway, I'm like falling asleep. <laughs> need to have some caffeine, gonna drink some water, and answer the emails that I need to get back to. I believe this video is long enough, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up because it really helps and supports my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!